गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग कैन यू गिव अवर प्रेजेंट प्लीज यस मैम ओके साई शिवा यस ओके साई शिवा कैन यू इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ या मैम गुड गुड मॉर्निंग मैम माय नेम इज साई शिवा आई एम फ्रॉम करीम नगर आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम थमला इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड साइंस इन द स्ट्रीम ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड हैव कंप्लीटेड माय डिप्लोमा फ्रॉम मदर टेरेसा कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग in the stream of mechanical engineering and have completed my school schooling from uh, scholars english medium high school coming to my technical skills i am i have trained on main frames and i have, I have some knowledge in cobol and my hobbies are playing cricket and chilling out with friends uh, coming to my family we are four in our family uh, my mother my father uh, he is a businessman my mother she is a homemaker uh, my i have one elder sibling uh, my sister Uh, she is currently working with an Indian organization. Uh, my, uh, coming to my goals, my short-term goal is to get a job in a reputed company where I can learn and enhance my skills. That's all about me. What are your technical skills? Main frames, hmm. and I have no sound knowledge in Cobol. Okay. Rate yourself in Cobol. Four out, out of, of five. five. Four out of five. Okay. Explain the divisions. In Cobol. in Cobol, there are four divisions: uh, identification division, environment division, data division, and uh, procedure division. Uh, in the, the identification division, which gives the identity of the program, it contains only paragraphs, and it contains six mainly six paragraphs. Uh, they are uh, program ID, which always expects the program name. Means uh, we have to specify the program name. Uh, then uh, author, which uh, under author on, on, under author paragraph will specify the programmer name and uh, date compiled and date date uh, executed uh, and this security which gives the purpose of the po- program uh, in environment division it is not it is a not mandatory uh, it's not mandatory division uh, in environment division will it is used to it has two sections uh, input output section and configuration section uh, in configuration section uh, we, ha- we we will describe the about the source computer and object computer Uh, means input and output computers in input output section we will declare the files uh, coming to the coming to the data division uh, it is also not a mandatory division uh, in data division uh, we will we'll, we have three sections mainly file section working storage section and linkage section in file section we will de- will uh, describe the file which uh, which we have declared in working storage section about the that file and uh, in in working storage section we will main, we will declare the variables which are which are we are we are going to use in the procedure division and in linkage section also we will declare the same variables but uh, we we mainly use the linkage section for sub calls and sub routines topic uh, coming to procedure division uh, it is it is a mandatory division in which we will write user defined logics user desi- defined uh, sections and paragraphs that's about divisions ma'am okay do you know about level numbers yes What uh, is the difference between zero one and seventy seven level number? Zero uh, one is uh, for elementary or group. We can use uh, we can use for it. You use on is mainly for uh, group or elementary. Zero seventy seven is only for pure elementary, which we we can't dec- uh, declare uh, subgroups under zero seventy seven group number. In zero one level, you can declare, declare subgroups. subgroups. In seventy seven, you cannot declare. Yeah, we can't declare. Okay. It's compilation error. What is the reference modification move? Uh, copying uh, based on the positional length, copying uh, particular characters from one variable to another variable is called reference modification move. Can you explain the difference uh, different types of moves? Yes. Okay. Uh, moves uh, moves are of uh, six types: uh, simple move, relative move. Uh, simple move relative move group move uh, corresponding move qualifier move mm, simple move uh, co- moving uh, assigning value to the variable assigning value to the variable uh, we call it as uh, simple move for example we are declaring to uh, we are declaring a variable in working storage section we have to assign a value to that variable we will use simple move by using move statement move 100 Uh, for example, I am assigning hundred to variable A, uh, move hundred to A. Uh, coming to relative move, 
copying one variable total value to the another variable we'll use, we'll use uh, relative mo we declare two if we declare two variables in working store section and we have to move a value to the b then we will prefer uh, sim, relative mo um, syntax is move a to b uh, corresponding uh, group mo uh, without any matching variables copying one way one group one group values from one group to another another group it is known as group move uh, uh, move group we have declared in two groups in working store section and we have to copy group one to group two then we'll use this more syntax move group one to group two uh, reference modification move uh, reference modification move based on position length copying particular pack characters from one variable to another variable we'll prefer this reference modification move uh, move uh, two variables a of position and length to b of position and length mm, next uh, corresponding move matching variables copy means uh, cop if any matching variables present in both groups then we'll prefer this corresponding move uh, and copy the one one from one group to another way another group move c o r r group one to group two syntax mm, next to qualifier move uh, uh, for example if a variable is present in more than one group then uh, if you want to assign a value to the particular variable which is present in group one then we will prefer this qualifier move uh, by in qualifier mode we use two clauses off or in by using this we can assign the values to the that particular variable targeting the particular variable that's, okay. that's it now what is perform perform uh, perform in a statement or a logic has to be executed a number of times then we will perform perform different types of performs performs are of six types uh, simple simple perform simple inline perform simple outline perform uh, perform n times, uh, perform varying, perform until and perform uh, through. Uh, here, uh, perform until and perform to and comes, perform until and perform varying con comes under a, uh, condition based on condition execution. Perform n times without any condition we will execute. Uh, and the uh, in between paragraph execution is perform through uh, simple perform. In, in the simple perform, simple inline perform, we will we'll write perform. We'll, we will write the statements in between the perform and in perform uh, sim in simple outline perform we will write a, in simple outline perform we will write a statements between in a paragraph in a paragraph and we will call the paragraphs after the par perform statement simple inline and simple outline sim difference between simple inline and simple outline in inline perform we will we'll now we no need to declare any paragraphs in outline we'll, we have to declare paragraphs in inline uh, we'll write the executed statements in between the perform and in perform in in this outline we'll write the executable statements and all required in paragraph and we'll call that para after the perform statement it it is a explicit scope terminator it is implicit scope terminator all any paragraphs in this inline we have to call we have to call the para in this uh, in outline performs mm. can you explain about renames renames yes rename means nothing but reusing the existing memory of the available variables storing the same value we'll use the re renames concept explain the renames concept renames uh, renames means it represented by 66 level number uh, renames means uh, re renaming the group of variables or renaming the group of variables or a particular variable uh, it is it has no picture picture clause uh, we can rename class uh, we can uh, it is applicable only for subgroups i mean zero level number zero to 49 uh, it is not applicable for uh, the it is not applicable for zero uh, one level number 71 number and eight level number okay what are the memory reducing techniques in coval memory reducing techniques are of two types uh, Redefines and computational variables. Okay. Explain about redefines. Redefines means reusing the existing memory of the available variable. Uh, when a two, when a one or uh, two or more variables uh, want to store same value, we will prefer the redefines clause. Okay. It is applicable for 0, 1, 77 and uh, uh, subgroups. What are the computational variables? Computational variables are of six types. Comp, Comp1, Comp2, Comp3, Comp4 and Comp5. Uh, comp1, comp1 and Comp4, Comp5 stores data in binary format. 
com to stores component com to stores the data in the form of internal float internal floating point uh, comp 3 will store data in the form of exa exa packet decimal format or exa or packet decimal format and com4 com4 or com5 shows binary format difference between comp and comp3 comp and com3 uh, comp will store data in the form of both will uh, both comp comp and comp will is a memory erasing technique and uh, it will stores data in the form of binary format comp it stores data in the form of uh, hexa packet decimal format or uh, hexa decimal format or a packet decimal format uh, its uh, memory ranges starts from is if it, it it stores data in the form of memory ranges s9 of uh, 1 to s9 of 4 it store it takes two bytes of data uh, s9 of uh, s9 of 5 to s9 of 9 it takes uh, four bytes of data uh, next s9 of s uh, S9 of 10 to S9 of 18 it takes uh, 8 bytes of data. In COM3 it takes it it is uh, it is 10 bytes. In COMP uh, in COMP sign sign data type take does not take any any memory. In COM3 a sign data will take a half byte of memory and which is called a slack byte. In in COMP sign values take sign uh, sign sign takes values from sign table. In COM3 uh, it will takes uh, takes values like c d f c is for positive d is for uh, negative and f is for unsigned values uh, 